So when we solve inequality, when we write inequality word problems, I use two highlighters to help me with this. And the reason for that is because when I'm writing word, and this is when I write any word problem, I need at least two highlighters because I got to keep track of what's happening, okay? So when I have two variables, this is what I do. I start by finding the variables, and sometimes they'll define them for me, sometimes I have to define them myself. But in this case, they tell me what the variables are. So what is the first variable they give me a letter for? C. C. Okay, so the number of bags of cans, C. So then anywhere I see cans, I'm going to highlight it. And you know, like, and it may not help me, but I'm going to highlight the same color. Okay? So I highlighted the number of bags of cans, and I highlighted the word cans there. All right? Now, what's my other variable that they give me? The number, of bottles. number of bags of bottles. Okay, so I'm going to write, I'm going to highlight that, and then anywhere else I see bottles, I'm going to highlight too. Now, for now, this strategy may seem like a little, a little like why, but when we get to the next problem, it's going to start to make a little more sense why the two highlighters help. The third thing I use is my pencil or pen or whatever, and if instead of highlighting, you want to circle or color with, with colored pencils, that's fine too. Remember, you can get that if you ask for it. Um, I, go, I find the word that tells me whether it's going to be equal or inequality or what sign. So like it might say, when are they the same? In this case, it says no more than 40 bags. And I circle that. Okay? So right now, I have everything I need to write this equation. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a caveman sentence. We've talked about caveman sentences where we write like the simplest, like least extra sentence we can do. Okay, so for me, here is the caveman sentence. It says, cans, well can, we'll say can because we're really trying to get our caveman on. Can and bottle no more than 40. <laughs> you guys agree that that's pretty much the least, the, 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 the most opposite of extra sentence I can make. Like it just summarizes everything right there. Can and bottle no more than 40. Okay. So what's can? It's C. So where I see can, I'm going to write C. What is and in math? And is plus. Is is equal sign. So and is plus bottle. B. Now this is where it gets tricky. So I'm going to just go out on a limb and assume that you guys have not, that you have not memorized. Probably, but let me let me show you a strategy. Yes, you're right. So I'm going to show you a strategy. So I'm going to assume you haven't memorized them because I haven't memorized them either. I just figure them out over time. So here's what I do. This is my strategy. If you like it, great. If you don't, I hope you memorize them. So what I do is I write greater than, equal, and less than. And then whatever the number, I put it on the other side. Okay, so this is how I'm going to figure out what inequality sign to use. So if it's no more than 40, can it be greater than 40? No. So I cross that one off. If it's no more than 40, could it be exactly 40? Yes. Yeah, it could because I can't be more than 40, but as I say, I can't be 40. If it's no more than 40, can it be less than 40? Yes. Yes. So I have less than and equal to circled, so it's less than and equal to 40. So whatever, whatever, whatever symbols I have circled are the ones that I use. Thank you. Um, so that's, that's my strategy. So what do we think about that one? Okay, so I want to I want to do the next one, and then I'm going to give you all one to try. I'm going to do the next one, and then I'm going to that that's literally it. We're just we're just writing an equation for these. So we're not solving them. We're just writing an equation. Gonna, gonna be an answer. Yeah. And that will be the answer, right? Just the equation. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the next one. I want you guys to highlight the variables. Just, so just go through them, whatever color you want. Highlight the variables, and I will do the same. And then you check and see if I'm right. And then remember, you whatever that variable is, you highlight it everywhere else you see it too. Okay, and I know it looks like I highlighted a lot, but again, since asparagus is A and I'm going to have to deal with it, I'm going to highlight everywhere I see asparagus, I'm going to highlight it. So it says asparagus, so it says they're buying asparagus. Asparagus is $3 a pound. We're finding the number of pounds of asparagus. So everywhere I see it, I highlight it. Same with the bananas. we got bananas. Bananas cost 50 cents a pound. Number of pounds of bananas. And then what am I going to circle? 
Yeah. I'm going to circle a $20 bill. Okay, yes. There you go, okay? So, so, okay, stop it. So, I'm a, now I want you all to write your caveman sentence as best you can, okay? okay. I mean, just forget the fact that this is a pretty... Um, this is a pretty, uh, pretty bougie, uh, bougie caveman writing about asparagus, but that's not the point, okay? <laughs> Banana. B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -A. There we go. Um, I'm going to say with uh, 20. That's my caveman sentence. Asparagus and banana with a 20. Okay, that's the. I like that. Look, you you you're not in caveman land anymore if you said no more than twenty. But you're absolutely right. Okay, so so hold on. Let's let's look at this. So what's asparagus? A. A. And what's and? Plus. What's bananas? B. What's okay? So let's think about a twenty. Okay. I have greater than, equal, or less than. If I have a $20 bill, can I spend more than $20? No. No. Can I spend exactly $20? Yes. Can I spend less than $20? Yes. Excellent. So I can have less than or equal to 20. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem. So is this what y'all got? And you're like, oh, my God. Okay, here's the problem. What? What does the variable say A stands for? No, it doesn't. What does it say it stands for? Number of pounds of asparagus. And what is 20? It's dollars. So I have pounds and pounds, and I'm saying it equals dollars. Can I put together things that aren't the same? No. So somehow i got to turn this asparagus and banana into money, otherwise I can't write this inequality. So you have to multiply. Okay, so you're on the right track. How much does asparagus cost? Three dollars. So if I t do three dollars for every pound, now I've got a money amount of asparagus. What about bananas? What can I multiply that by? Zero point fifty for bananas. That's going to give me money plus money equals money. That I can do. I know, I know. I told you I'm going to get you through this. Okay, money times money plus money is money, right? Okay, I want you guys to try number three. And again, you're going to highlight, write your caveman sentence, and write your equation. Okay? We're all going to try it. Okay, am I right? No. Okay, what did I do wrong? You forgot to put the numbers. Right, because I'm saying, like, like, Clothing plus clothing is money. I can't do that. I know I'm a silly goose, right? Okay, so what should I have in front of the shorts? I should have 12 in front of the shorts and 8 in front of the shirts. Okay? All right. So we're going to just keep working on it. You're going to practice on your review. Hang on. Let me stop this video.